In this video, we're going to continue our discussion of exponential distributions with a few more worked examples. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So battery life between charges for a new phone is 20 hours when the primary use is talk time. The battery life drops to eight hours when the phone is primary, primarily used to stream live videos. Assume that the battery life follows an exponential distribution. Okay, great. So the first question is show the probability density function for the battery life of new phone when its primary use is talk time. And we know that we're following here an exponential distribution for battery life. So the first thing we need to identify is that we're asked to show the probability density function when the primary use is talk time. So we need to first calculate our rate parameter. So lambda is equal to one over our duration here, which is 20. That's given to us in our question right there. So one over 20, one divided by 20 is equal to 0 0.05. So that's our rate parameter. <clears throat> we then can write our probability density function. So our function of X is equal to lambda times e to the power of negative lambda times x, which is equal to 0 0.05, that's our rate parameter, times e to the power of negative 0 0.05 times x. And that is a sufficient answer to A. So let's go ahead and look at question B. So B. What is the probability that the battery life charged for a randomly selected phone will last no more than 15 hours when its primary use is talk time? Okay, let's go ahead and just draw it just to start. We know that we follow an exponential distribution, so we can draw our exponential distribution that looks like this. We have time on our x-axis, we have our function of x on our y-axis, and we're asked will last no more than 15 hours. In other words, less than 15 hours. So we're going to put our variable here of 15. Effectively, what we're asking is, what is the probability that it lasts between zero and 15 hours? So we can go over here and we can write our, our cumulative probability function. So our probability that S is less than or equal to X, less than or equal to T, is equal to e to the power of negative lambda times s minus e to the power of negative lambda times t. In this case, we're asking the probability that zero is less than or equal to x less than or equal to 15, which is equal to e to the power of negative lambda times zero minus e to the power of negative lambda times t. Oh, we, we know what t is equal, so t is equal to 15. We know our value for lambda for talk time. We calculated that in A, so our value for lambda here is equal to 0 0.05. So e to the power of negative lambda times zero, so lambda times zero is zero, e to the power of zero is one. writing that there, and negative e, sorry, minus e to the power of negative lambda negative 0 0.05 times 15 gives us 0 0.4724, just rounding to four decimal points. We subtract from one and we get 0 0.5276. So the probability that our phone lasts less than 15 hours is 0 0.5276. So that's our answer to B. What about C? What is the probability that the battery charge for a randomly selected phone will last more than 20 hours when its primary use is talk time? And I just noticed that this should probably have a Y there, so I'll just add that. Okay, <clears throat> so C. 
let's go ahead and draw it again. So let's draw our exponential distribution. Again, we have x on our, our time on our x-axis. We have our function of x on our y-axis. And we're asked that it will, what is the probability that it will last more than 20 hours? So in other words, more than 20 hours. Okay, well, this is interesting. So we can go here to our equation and we know that the probability that X is greater than 20 is equal to one minus the probability that X is less than or equal to 20, right? Just using our complement rule. And we can solve for the probability that X is equal to 20 or less than or equal to 20. So the probability that S is less than or equal to X, less than or equal to 20 or less than or equal to T is equal to e to the power of negative lambda times s minus e to the power of negative lambda times t. So the probability that zero is less than or equal to x less than or equal to 20 is equal to e to the power of negative lambda times zero minus e to the power of negative lambda times 20. Well, we know that We know that e to the power of negative lambda times zero is equal to one minus e to the power of negative lambda times 20 is equal to zero, 0 0.3679, rounding to four decimal points. Let's track from one. We get 0 0.63 to one. So the probability that zero less than or equal to X less than or equal to 20 is equal to 0 0.6312. Another way of saying this is that the probability that X is less than or equal to 20 is equal to 0 0.6321. Well, that helps us because above We were trying to find the probability that X is greater than 20. And we said that the probability that X was greater than 20 was equal to one minus the probability that X is less than or equal to 20. So one, so the probability that X is greater than 20 is equal to one minus the probability that X is less than or equal to 20. We found the probability that X is less than or equal to 20 is 0.6321. So one minus that value, one minus 0 0.6321 is equal to 0 0.3679. So that's, that's certainly one way to answer the question. The other way that we could look at this is we could say that the probability that S is less than or equal to X is equal to e to the power of negative lambda times s. Well, in this case, the probability that 20 is less than or equal to x is equal to e to the power of negative lambda times 20. So e to the power of negative lambda times 20 gives us 0. 3679 or exactly the same thing you can reword this the probability that x is greater than or equal to 20 is equal to 0 0.3679 so there's kind of a long way and a short way the short way is to remember that this is the quick answer to your uh, equation the other longer way is to take of course the complement of that um, we'll do one more. We haven't finished answering our question. So D, what is the probability that the battery charge for a randomly selected phone will last no more than five hours when its primary use is to stream 
live videos. Okay, really important in this question is that we're asked the primary use is to stream live videos, which means we need to change our rate parameter. In the question, we're told that the battery life drops to eight hours when the primary use is to stream live videos. So let's go down here to D. Let's just adjust our value for Lambda. So one over our duration, so one over eight gives us 0 0.125. Okay, now for good practice, let's draw out what they're asking. So what is the probability that uh, will last no more than five hours? Function of x. x time is on our x-axis or function of x is on our y-axis. No more than five hours. In other words, what is the probability it falls between zero and five hours? Right, so our probability that S is less than or equal to X, less than or equal to T is equal to E to the power of negative lambda times S minus E to the power of negative lambda times T. So our probability that zero is less than or equal to x, less than or equal to t, is equal to e to the power of negative lambda times zero minus e to the power of negative lambda times five. And again, I apologize, I should put, instead of t, I should put five in there. So less than or equal to five times five. We know that lambda times zero is just going to mean that it's e to the power of zero, which is equal to one minus e to the power of negative lambda, where lambda is equal to 0 0.125 times five, which is 0 0.5353. We subtract that from one and we get 0 0.46. Four, seven. So the probability that x is less than or equal to 5 is equal to 0 0.4647. Okay, easy enough, but let's just for practice say, well, what is the probability that the phone lasts more than 5 hours when the primary use is streaming videos? So in other words, we're looking for I'm going to change the color here, this purple shaded region. Well, the probability that x is greater than 5 is going to be equal to 1 minus the probability that x is less than or equal to 5, which is equal to 1 minus the probability that x is less than or equal to 5, which we just calculated right here. So 0 0.4647. So 1 minus 0 0.4647 gives us 0 0.5353. And if we want, we can look at this. So the probability that uh, S is less than or equal to X, less than or equal to T, is equal to E to the power of negative lambda times S minus E to the power of negative lambda times T. Well, the probability that S is less than or equal to X is simply equal to E to the power of negative lambda times S. So the probability that five is less than or equal to x is equal to e to the power of negative lambda times five. So the probability that x is greater than or equal to five is equal to e to the power of negative 0 0.125 times five, which is 0 0.53. Five, three.
okay? All I'm showing you here is that there's two ways of solving this question. One is to take the complement. The other one is just to remember this shortcut. The probability that x is greater than some variable is just e to the power of negative lambda uh, times s. And then we have it. We've completed all of our questions and we have learned a little bit more about how to properly use the exponential distribution. That's it for this video, but if you found that it helped to make statistics easy, consider showing your support by giving the video a like. And if you still need more help with statistics, then consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. I look forward to solving many more problems with you next time.